Five health officials say no new cases of coronavirus have been confirmed in Oregon today. Numbers, though, doubled over the weekend, prompting Governor Kate Brown to declare a state of emergency in Oregon. There are 14 confirmed cases in Oregon and one in Clark County. Washington County has the most cases at eight. Lindsay Nadrish is here with today's update from the Oregon Health Authority. Lindsay. Well, the biggest thing right now is still how to protect people with underlying medical conditions and adults over the age of 60. Those groups are at the highest risk of developing severe symptoms. Everyone else is expected to only experience mild symptoms similar to the common cold. Health officials said the number of cases in Oregon is still at 14, but we did get some new testing numbers. 226 people are currently being monitored for COVID-19, either because they traveled or because they've had contact with a confirmed case. 165 people who were tested, tested negative for COVID-19. And the state is still waiting on test results from 52 other people. Health officials say the virus is much more widespread than just the 14 cases we know about. So we asked why not notify more people or share more specifics about where someone's been if they test positive. Here's what they said. Again, this um, virus is spread not through the air, but through droplets. And so that person who is sick, who is coughing or sneezing, and someone who is in within six feet of them is the person who's at risk. And so that's why um, we are working with the individuals to identify who is at greatest risk. And just these 14 people are the folks who've tested positive, but we know there are other cases out there. And so that's why everyone needs to take the precautions, not just if you're in a specific location, the CDC now says people in high risk groups should avoid large gatherings. Stay home if you feel sick and most importantly, don't visit family and care facilities if you feel sick. We also keep getting questions about testing. The state lab does not have enough tests to test everyone, so they're still limiting that to people who have traveled to an area with a high risk of exposure, those who've had contact with a confirmed case, and people who are hospitalized with severe lung infections and test negative for the flu. Health officials also say testing someone with mild symptoms won't change treatment plans because right now there's no vaccine and no specific treatment for COVID-19. So if you feel sick and wouldn't normally go to the doctor, you're asked to stay home until you don't have any symptoms for 72 hours.